Part 3 Directions You will hear some conversations between two people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The conversations will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Now let us begin with questions 41 through 43. Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. I'd be happy to type your letter for you, but can it wait until after lunch? I'm in the middle of something right now. Of course it can wait, just as long as it's mailed this evening. That won't be any problem. I have to finish copying this report, then I'll grab a bite to eat, then I'll do it. It'll be done by early afternoon. Thanks. I really appreciate it. If you need me, I'll be in my office. Number 41. What does the man want the woman to do? Number 42. What is the woman doing now? Number 43. Where is the man going? Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. I just talked to the phone company. They promised to have the new phones installed by Wednesday before noon. Last week they said they would have it done by Monday afternoon, but it wasn't. Well, you remember there was a mix-up with the order. They were here on time, but they brought the wrong kind of phone. Yes, that was a big disappointment. I'm beginning to think this phone company isn't very reliable. We've been waiting over a month to get those phones in place. I can't believe that it's taking so long. Number 44. When will the phones be installed? Number 45. Why weren't the phones installed last week? Number 46. How long have they been waiting for the phones? Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. I need 12 dozen ballpoint pens. Do you want any specific color? Oh, I hadn't thought about that. Well, all right, I'll take six dozen red pens, four dozen black, and two dozen purple. I'll have to check for the purple. Hmm. According to our inventory list, we have some in the back. I'll have someone bring them out. Your total for 12 dozen pens comes to $75 exactly, including tax. Let me see what I have in my wallet. Oh, yes, here's a $100 bill. Number 47. How many dozen pens is the man ordering? Number 48. What colors does he want? Number 49. How will he pay for the pens? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. The meal was delicious. It really hit the spot. You're a great cook. But you hardly touched a thing. You should at least have some more dessert. I made it especially for you because I know it's your favorite. Thank you. But I couldn't. Really, I already had two pieces of cake. Not to mention the three courses that preceded that. But I'd love a cup of that delicious coffee you make. I'll be happy to make it for you. I'll have it ready in just a few minutes. You take cream and sugar, right? Just sugar, thanks. And take your time. Please.
I'm happy to just sit here and relax for a while. Number 50. Where does this conversation take place? Number 51. What does the man want the woman to do? Number 52. What does the woman want to do? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. You have got to learn to relax. You need to take a vacation or play a little golf or take up gardening. I'd like to take your advice, doctor, but I have to work. I have a lot of responsibilities. I'm sure you do. We all do. But if you keep up with this crazy pace, you may never work again. You're ruining your health. You need to find a way to ease up a little. Well, maybe I could take on an assistant to help me out some with work. Number 53. Who is giving advice? Number 54. What is the woman's problem? Number 55. What will the woman do? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. Spring is my favorite season. I just love the cool rains. They're so refreshing, and everything is so green and new. It always makes me feel so happy. I know. I love it too. It's really a beautiful time. I really dislike the summer months, though. I know. I can't stand the heat and humidity. I'm useless when the weather gets like that. But you know, I think a sunny September day like today is nice too. Very pleasant. Yes, this is also a great time of year. The temperatures are quite comfortable, and the colours are so bright. Number 56. What don't the speakers like? Number 57. How is the weather today? Number 58. When does this conversation take place? Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation. Come on. Aren't you ready to go yet? I've already got my raincoat on, and I'm standing by the door. Let's go already. I can't find my boots and umbrella. Can't you take a minute to help me look for them? I really don't want to go out on a day like this without them. You know how easily I get sick. Come on. You've got a raincoat. That'll keep you dry. We're going to miss the bus if you don't hurry. Relax. We've got plenty of time. The bus won't leave for another 15 minutes, and I'm not leaving the house without an umbrella. Number 59. What is the woman looking for? Number 60. What is the weather like? Number 61. When will the bus leave? Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation. Don't you live by the police station? I used to live by the police station, but I didn't really like the neighbourhood. So last year I moved to Mountain View Street. Now I live in a very nice house right by the school. Oh, that's right. Your house is that small yellow one on the corner, isn't it? The one with a spectacular garden? I pass it every day on my drive to work. 
You do? Then maybe you can give me a lift sometime when the weather's bad. Normally I walk to work, and I really enjoy getting the exercise, but I'd rather not do it when it rains. I'm sorry, I thought you took the bus. Look, it's supposed to rain tomorrow. I'll pick you up at 7.30, OK? Number 62. Where does the man live? Number 63. How does the woman get to work? Number 64. What time will the woman meet the man tomorrow? Go on to the next page. Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation. I didn't read this morning's paper, or yesterday's either. I didn't have time to get to the newsstand to buy one. You should have it delivered. Then it would be waiting for you in your office every morning, and you would always be on top of the news. Well, it would be in my office every morning, but I still wouldn't have time to read it. Well... Let me tell you about the story I read on today's front page. I think you'll find it quite interesting. Number 65. Why didn't the woman read this morning's paper? Number 66. What does the man suggest that the woman do? Number 67. What does the man want to do? Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation. I'm exhausted. I didn't get to bed last night until after 11. Really? That's not so late. Not unless you got up very early, of course. I did get up early. I got up at four. I usually get eight hours of sleep, but last night I got only five. That's not enough for me. No, that wouldn't be enough for me either. Why did you get up so early? Were you getting ready for a trip or something? No, I wanted to get to the office early because I had some extra work to finish. Even though it means getting up in the dark, I'd rather do that than stay at the office until late at night. Number 68. What time did the woman go to bed? Number 69. How many hours of sleep does the woman usually get? Number 70. Why did she get up early?